Good evening, everybody. Uh, so on this very short video, we are going to explain uh, the MATLAB code for plotting the bifurcation diagram for discrete time systems. Uh, we are going to use the logistic map as an example, but for that matter, you can use any map that you like without changing anything else in the code. You just need to replace the logistic map with any other map. Okay. Now, I already have a video explaining the bifurcation diagram and what it represents. So I strongly suggest you first take a look on that video. I'm going to put it in the description, right? And also I'm going to put a link uh, on this code on MATLAB Central, <clears throat> again in the description of the video, so you can download it and use it yourselves. Okay, <clears throat> so let's begin. The code is extremely simple. As you see right here, it's practically 20 lines, right? So you begin by setting some sort of initial condition, right? You can put it random if you like, so you can choose a random initial condition, okay? It doesn't matter for this case. So when you're searching for coexisting attractors, it may matter, but that's another topic, okay? Then uh, we can use our interval uh, of choice. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. For the logistic map, let's say I'm interested in the parameter interval of three up to four, okay? So I set my minimum value on three, my maximum value on four, and of course, I need to also choose a step. Now remember, the smaller the step, the more detailed the, the diagram is going to look, right? Uh, so initially, let's choose an integration, an iteration step, I'm sorry, for uh, 0.001, right? So this is my interval, from minimum value to the maximum value with an iteration step of t, right? Cool. So this is the initialization. Also, I have a dummy variable here, which is pause from position. Uh, this is very simple. You can rewrite the code to not use this dummy variable, but this makes the code easier to read. Then I choose the number of iterations, which is 1000 iterations. Now, depending on the map, you may have to choose more. For example, some maps have a very long transient behavior, a transient response. Okay, so for the logistic map, 1000 iterations is fine. And then m uh, small is 150 values. I'm going to explain this later. Uh, so to plot the bifurcation diagram, basically you need two loops. The bigger loop uh, chooses in each iteration the value of the control parameter. Okay, here in the logistic map we have one control parameter, right? K. Okay. okay, so this is the outer loop. We begin, we use this uh, dummy variable and increment it by just one. And then what we do? Uh, we have an inner for loop where we compute n values of the map. Here n is 10 to the third. Okay, so I compute 1000 values of the map, right? So I first set the value of k, then compute 1000 values of this map, and then I save in a very big matrix, the matrix is m, I save the last 150 values. Okay, so you're going to ask, Lazarus, I mean, why do I need to save 150 values? Right. You may need to save 100, you may need to save more, depending on how beautiful you want the diagram to look. So, you know, go back and forth, uh, do some trial and error, but usually 150 values is very nice for plotting a very beautiful diagram. Okay, so after you do that, and actually let me also note that this M here is a very big matrix, and in each iteration, you save all of these values, uh, the last 150 values of the map, vertically. Okay, so on a specific k value, you save in this matrix all of the final 150 values of the map. Okay, and then you increment uh, the parameter, and then you save again the last 150 values. You increment the parameter, again you save the last 150 values, and you do that for the whole interval. So after you finish uh, saving all of the last 150 values in each simulation, you just need to plot the result. Okay, so you plot this matrix as dots and with black value. And you will see that it only takes, uh, oops, I think I have a typo somewhere. Blah, 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 let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, okay, yes, let me first uh, clear the, value, uh, the variables because I was running some experiments from uh, before. All right, so it took like what? Two seconds, not even two seconds. Okay, one second to plot the diagram. And this is it, right? It looks very, very, very nice. Okay, 
You see, it is a very nice, very detailed diagram. You can zoom in in those regions and obtain this period doubling route to chaos. Of course, one might say, hmm, Lazarus, maybe it's not detailed enough. I want it in even more detail. Well, absolutely no problem with that. We just need to uh, make the step even, even smaller. Okay, it will only increase in a simulation time. Let's see. Ah, it took just a couple of seconds again. And this is our very, very beautiful result. And of course, you can also see that uh, the result is now a bit more detailed. So we can zoom in right here and obtain this uh, period doubling root to chaos. And it looks really, really beautifully. Of course, if we zoom in a lot, again, we need uh, to obtain a simulation with a much, much, much more smaller step. If we want to zoom in again and again and again it, uh, and look you know, at very, very small regions in the bifurcation diagram. Uh, but if I zoom out, you can observe that the diagram looks really, really, really beautiful, right? So this is all about the code, right? You can replace the logistic map with any map you like and uh, plot it very, very easily. As you see, it takes very little time, right? Even for a very big, a very small integration iteration step, it takes like one, one and a half seconds, okay? So it is very easy to plot. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Thank you very much.